Married Life by George Graham. Now I'll tell you people, it is surprising to me the amount of people that are getting married every day. I'll tell you marriage is a serious business, and I know it. Now the last family I married into was one of the first families of Philadelphia. That is, as you come up South Street. Oh, yes, and I'll tell you one thing. Look at the married man, and look at the single man. Half the time, the single man has nobody to sew buttons on his shirt. Now, on the other hand, look at the married man. Half the time, he's got no shirt to sew buttons on. Now, I want to say, look at the single man and look at the married man. Look at the difference. By the single man, he lives a life of blissful independence. The single man can go out and get the most beautiful jag that was ever invented. He can bring it home with him. He needn't be ashamed of it. He can bring it home to that little four-by-six room. There's a good old comfortable bed laying there, and he can sleep it off on the floor if he wants to. And if he wants to go to bed, he can go to bed and sleep in peace. That bed can't talk. But some women are cute. Some women are cute. They don't get at you at night when you come in. Oh, no. They wait till in the morning. Until your nerves are all unstrung. Until you are looking for some quiet spot to go off and lay down and die. Then they open up on you. And they can come pretty close to getting anything they want that morning. And another thing. Look how easy it is to get married. Anybody will loan you money to get married on. So anxious to see you get in trouble. Yes, that's a fact. Why, you can stop in housekeeping, get three rooms, get some furniture on the installment plan, pay $10 down, and $10 a month. All you have to worry about is the first $10. Get that and pay it. Let the furniture man do the worrying after that. 